Hey guys, it's been a minute. How have you been? Have you missed this face? All this gorgeousness? She's missed you. I hope you know that. Um, it's been a rough couple of months. Uh, yeah, and I just, you know, I, I couldn't pretend. I mean, not that I have a lot of people to pretend to, but like, I just needed time for myself to do what I needed to do for me and my goals and whatnot. So that's what I was doing. That's what I was, you know, making the bag, securing the future. I was doing everything that needed to be done. Okay, why am I speaking in a slang like this? I don't speak like this. Rewind. I was making moves again the slides guys tiktok has ruined me the vocabulary that my mom paid pound for is in the bin anyhow okay let's begin again take three i am currently a junior as i, I previously mentioned and you know comes with the summer internship struggles and i had started applying for summer internships last year um from the summer like last summer i started applying for internships for this summer and let's just say it wasn't easy with corona and everything that was going on it was so difficult Très difficile. like i don't even know like words cannot explain it in total i had to apply to over 130 internships and what i mean by internships like so i'll qualify it for you so you understand is that individual roles not 130 companies there's a difference so you can apply for some companies give you a cap like you can only apply to three com three um, roles in a particular region um, some com companies say that you can apply to as many as you want and i applied to over 130 um, roles and of those roles i got um, 20 responses and of those 20 responses i got five offers and of those five offers i accepted one obviously you can only accept one i accepted a wealth management summer internship at morgan stanley <laughs> um <laughs> um i know that's big i know that's big um obviously i've told people i've known for months like i've i got the original offer letter in april after it took me a month it took me a month like you know series of interviews a series of um preparation um all that you did not see but i know that i've been so mean and as a i guess to give back i am going to create a series a step-by-step -step series and talk about the different things that i did to overall um get this internship i am going to cover everything from the preparations i did beforehand um the actual application process i'm going to do the interview process which is so important that there are different stages of interviews and i'm not only going to touch up on like the job i got because obviously i didn't only apply for wealth management i applied for ib um, investment banking and s t sales and trading get your lingo down um so i'm going to talk about just big finance job roles and um the different types of internships they offer i'm gonna break it down so hard you're not even gonna believe it so stay tuned if you're interested in this type of content please do hit the subscribe button down below like you i'm a college student i'm in my junior year you're probably a freshman or a sophomore or um even a, a, a rising junior or a rising senior, this information is always useful. So please share it to loved ones all over. I mean, I'm speaking only from the US perspective because I go to school in the US. I'm even gonna touch on things like GPA. I'm gonna like, and if you have any questions or anything you want me to cover, please uh, comment down below. Um, you can follow me on my Instagram and DM me directly because it's easier to contact me that way. Um, 
because I mean I'm more active there I'm just gonna give you tips on things that you can do obviously this was not all me I didn't do this by myself I'm gonna say um, I'm gonna take this time out <laughs> I'm speaking as if I'm in an award ceremony and it kind of feels that way because honestly it takes a village like the support that I had behind me during my mental breakdowns and I had a mental breakdown almost every day I would not lie to get this internship my mental health was at its worst I don't think I've ever been as depressed as torn and these are things I, I could also talk about if you're interested like I I would wake up anxious like I was anxious all the time because it was one of those things like if I didn't get an internship I mean I didn't just want any internship I wanted the internship I wanted an internship that I would be proud of that will show like my years of hard work like I know I don't talk about these things but I mean I'm not gonna say I have a 4.0 GPA blah, 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 blah. I'm not I'm not here to spout all that at you but I have worked hard and I do work hard and I do want to be rewarded for the work that I do and this is the reward I I mean I'm hopefully gonna smash this internship and get a full-time offer that's the plan that's the intention but that is the like the goal I'm doing this hard work I'm going to college I'm paying for tuition I mean I'm not paying for tuition I love you mom um my parents are paying for tuition for what for this this is the this is the years of you know this has ta taken years in the making and there's some people who they don't know their direction and I can tell you this like not only finance econ data science you know business management business um, type majors are welcome in the finance sector you can have any major and be welcome in this sector in our cohort there's a girl who's a theater major and um, I think political science a double major and she's here I mean it's all about your desire the outlook you have on life like sometimes it's also about your reality what's your reality I know it's nice to you know see you know 12 year old skinny girls on um, TikTok and think that you're gonna be the next um, TikTok famous star and you know I do this as a hobby and I'm very realistic about my goals and my um, what I want to achieve in life not everybody gets to make it big like and that's something that I wish more people a lot more content creators will also bear in mind when they're spreading this you know information like everybody says do it do it, do it. and definitely I think you should do it but I don't think that on um, you should just do it and you know I, I saw a statistic the other day and like every 12 year old um, in England Ireland um australia the u.s their goal ha has gone from being a doctor an astronaut to being tiktok famous or instagram famous or youtube famous it's like that's the new in trend uh job and i don't want people to think that way there are still jobs you can still work a nine to five and still um, attain the sort of life that you want to live and I want you to follow me on my journey as I prove that to be fact in fact more people go my route and succeed than people go like entrepreneurship is not for everyone especially students like you think it's easy waking up being pretty going to the shoot and th th that's not I'm not trying to make this about this career versus that career because I I'm doing both but like honestly the days when I'm like hard hitting you know i've been really consistent on my instagram lately and nobody tells you what it takes to be that consistent you wake up in the morning you get you do your makeup you get dressed you go take a couple of shoots you drive here you go here you buy this you buy that like it's just as tasking but in a different way like it's not sometimes it's it's physically tasking and they don't show that because they're always smiling you always see the five percent the best of the best when they are at their peak they might not be feeling their peak but they're showing you their peak but I'm telling you that every industry has that every job has that and especially as a black woman who is growing up in 2021 I want to tell you the, my experiences about life I want to tell you about my relationships with friends with romantic relationships my relationship with my job my boss I want to tell you as other girls who come behind me we can do this like bad girls have been put down oppressed like in in the media like they, they try and hide it and they try and pretend that it's not there but we see it we know what is going on and as a girl who came from a predominantly black country who has non not known 
this sort of debasement and look down upon it's because where i come from i'm i'm the bad bitch like nobody can tell me nothing i come from um an upper middle class family i my family is very comfortable so i've never had the opportunity of being told i can't do something i want to do in fact i'm the person who gets in the back door and i'm not saying it in a boastful manner it's to show you like the mentality mindset and the changes that had to be made to be where i am today it's not easy i'm telling you 100 percent. whatever you want to do is not going to be easy it's not going to be something that you just wake up one morning and do it's very hard and it's very rare to meet a person who just does things and it all works out so you're gonna try 10 different things and then you're gonna figure out the one thing that works for you but at the end of the day the thing that makes the difference between natural talent and you know easy success because easy success isn't actually easy there's a lot of behind the scenes work that you don't see that went into it but hard work always pays off being dedicated, putting 1% every day for 10 years is more than putting 1,000% every year and then just hoping for the best. The people who show up are consistent and are present are the people who always take the stage. And I want you to take the stage. I want us to take the stage. I want the applause. Like, I, I, I like it. I like being where I am right now. I like being, when I tell people, oh yeah, this is what I'm doing, this is what my major is, this is what where my internship is at, this is what I'm doing with my time, this is what I'm doing with my money, this is the investments I'm making. I like it when people are like, wow, she's that girl. She's got her things together. I like when my mom talks about me and she's proud of me. Like, people who don't have this mentality and who don't vibe with me the same way that's okay but these are my goals and these are my intentions and i'm telling them to you as it is most people want happy successful lives to have a good successful relationship with your some of your family members it requires you to do the work like a lot of people want to be blasé about the things that they they want to do and this is not about them all i'm saying is girls we can do this it might we might have to work two times as hard but let's get on our feet and let's get ready. Let's go. Like, I want to look cute. I want to go. Like, you know, everybody says hot girl summer. And I'm about the hot girl summer life. And I'm going to do it. But I'm going to secure my bag. And you catch me on the other side. And we have to think this the way. I wish more people would talk about this. And as beautiful and as feminine and as wholesome as I am. And I, I, I was brought up to be. That doesn't change the fact that I deserve where I stand. I am who I am. I am here today because of the people behind me and I'm never gonna say anything less. And I wanna tell people out there that you can be better than me. I shouldn't be your goal. I, I met somebody the other day and they were like, they wanna li live my life. And I was like, my life? What, what is so fancy about my life? She's like, oh yeah, you have nice things. You're, you're always looking pretty. You're always looking cute. You always dress up. Like, you know, everybody's wearing t-shirts and shorts here and you only go wearing a dress because I choose to wear that dress. Because I've made the conscious effort and the conscious decision to be who I am, to despite everybody looking at me, because I go to a school where everybody's basic, everybody dresses up basic. Like in the winter, everybody's in sweatpants and hoodies and you ain't seen no color. I'm the one with the pink puffer coat. I'm the one who wears white in summer. I choose to stand up. I wanna be a beacon. I want you to see me from 10,000 miles away. I have made that decision. And I want you to make the decision today by subscribing down below and following me on my journey and learning how to be successful in your 20s. Be successful how you want to be successful. Making the decisions. Like, I'm not just taking the um, corporate ladder and, like, discrediting everything else. No. I'm going to be the content creator. I'm going to be the investment person. I'm going to do it all. And I'm going to tell you how I do it. And I'm going to show you along the way. And we can do this together. We can grow together. We can secure everything that needs to be secured together. Secure the lace. Secure the wig. Secure the bag. Secure the outfit. Like, you should always be secured. Nobody should catch you slipping. Ever. Like, 100%. Ever, never, 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 never. We are always going to be on our A game. And we're going to get everything we deserve. Because we deserve it. We've worked for it. And that's the end. Um, I went on this spiel because I just got in my feelings. And I'm allowed to do that. So, this is just my video telling you. <laughs> we made it. We made it. <laughs> we made it. 
So guys, like these are the things you don't see. See, I'm, I've talked, 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 talking about you know, internship. I'm doing internship. I'm doing summer school. Your girl's trying to graduate in December. Like, I'm trying to graduate in three years, doing a double major and a minor. That's who you want to be. That's how you want to achieve it. And I'm not saying that everybody has to run their race their own way. Not everybody can be like me. But I made this decision. Make your decisions for your life. That's all I'm saying. And be proud of yourself. And if you made a decision, stick to it. Don't let anybody talk you out of it. Don't anybody bring you down. Don't let anybody confuse you or make you think that you, you ain't got it. You got it. You know what you're doing. You Because the only person who's living your life is you. And with all this, you know, great inspirational talk, I am gonna leave it here because I don't think I can say anything better than I've currently said. Okay, have a good day. See you in the next one.